channel. Today we are going to Silverwood Theme Park in Athol, Idaho. Here we go. Arriving here at about 10.45 and the park opens at 11 a.m. So all day parking is $5 per vehicle and includes the theme park and water park. The first thing you will do is go through a simple bag check. Okay, so here are the hours for the park today. Then you will walk through a tunnel underneath the freeway. tickets ahead of time and reserving them will save you $10 per ticket. Adult tickets are $59 for one day and child and senior are $36 and includes theme park and water park access. This flower wall is super unique and beautiful and it takes the park all year to construct this because it's made out of 600 plants. Here's a picture of me inside of it. Fun. It's not busy at all today. It's only about 65 degrees out. As you can see, it did rain all night, so there are puddles everywhere. But hopefully, all the rides are running. We're gonna go catch the air show, also known as Stunt Pilot. Dun dun dun! Are you ready for this? Oh yes. Man, look how close that ride gets to the fence. And then it has like this cool ring loop thing. And then it goes so far down to the ground. Can you guys see that? Like, ooh, I can't lie, I kind of want to ride the front. So this is a single rider roller coaster. So, one, about, I think 10 people can ride at once. This ride definitely loads slower than the others because there's a lot less room. Wow. 
this ride did open May 29th, 2021. So this is our first time riding it. We'll let you know how it is. So this roller coaster is really cool because it was actually constructed by Rocky Mountain Construction, which is only located about 15 miles from the Silverwood Park itself. So this roller coaster was basically built in its own backyard. So that's really awesome. This cute little shed it goes through. <laughs> drop I got a lot of airtime but it was very smooth did you like it mm -hmm. I did. it was awesome and we did only end up waiting about 20 to 25 minutes for stunt pilot which is not bad at all for a ride that only opened two weeks ago so might have to do it again and I did ride the very back row and then Colton rode the middle but my spot definitely got whipped more and had a lot more airtime. So the mat, the back might be the my most thrilling on that ride. So highly recommend. But hopefully we'll be able to ride later and we'll be able to try the front and let you know if that's any different. Some stunt pilot, some specific gear, coaster 30, Silverwood Ride Tour. How cool. $16.99, not bad at all. And then you can get your ride photo purchased here. And some more merch. And then they have these really cool posters that um, are for in honor of the air shows that they used to do here. And that's actually why they came up with this <laughs> new stunt pilot ride is because they actually used to do real stunt pilot shows here at the park, but they no longer do them. So now they're able to still incorporate that in a way with a ride. Oh look, panic plunge with no weight. I wonder why. It's because those rides are scary. No thank you. We are gonna pass on that one. <laughs> uh, ooh, Huckleberry Shake, yum. Oh man, the suspense. Personally, I would rather ride Tower of Terror any day. 
completing the green screen now. Oh man. Well, you're only halfway there. <laughs> and then it gets to the top and you hear this click and then your life ends. Let me know in the comments if you ride these type of rides. Again, I have no problem with Tower of Terror, but this one for some reason. Brave souls. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and try this Huckleberry Shake and let you guys know how it is. Thank you. Ooh, taste test. How is it? Good. Does it taste like huckleberries? Mm -hmm. There's like <laughs> big chunks of huckleberries in it. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really good. It definitely tastes like vanilla ice cream with huckleberries. So huckleberry shake. Yum. Ooh. And spin cycle? No, thank you. There goes Tim Repair. I'm gonna ride that later. Let me know down in the comments if you would ride this. Oh, yep, yep, it goes all the way around. Wow, okay. I would be very sick by now. So, masks are completely optional at this park. And I would say that 98% of guests are not wearing masks. Although it's definitely not a busy day and it is a Saturday um, in June, so it's pretty easy to be able to keep your distance from others. Look at this cute and like peaceful garden park area. And we're gonna go eat some lunch here. This is awesome. Okay, so we will be eating lunch here today at Chuck Wagon John's All You Care to Eat Barbecue. So, we'll let you know how that is. Okay, so to purchase the food for the All You Care to Eat meal, you will actually come to this cashier stand to get a wristband that allows you to go inside and eat all the prepare to eat food. And then we have our meat selections and some corn, mac and cheese, beans, and bread, sauces. And we got some chicken. And this is like the full buffet room. So here are, this is my plate. And this is Colton's plate. And drinks are included. So it was only $15.99 per person. So we will be eating our lunch in one of their pavilions. They do have three of these, I do believe. So there's plenty of seating for everybody. There's five pavilions? Ooh, I was corrected. There are five pavilions. Look at that. Lunch of champions. Look at this view we have from our lunch table. Ooh. Got some tremors action going on. Gonna have to go on that next. It did just get some of the track redone, so it'll be interesting to see if it's more smoother now. But lunch is good. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the aftermath. It was pretty good. It's definitely not the best barbecue we've ever had, but it was definitely worth $15.99 per person. And I do believe that there are not very many food options available at this park. So this might be the best bang for your buck option here. So here's the park map. This area is uh, the roller coaster alley. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our part one from our Silverwood trip. I look forward to sharing the rest of the trip with you guys, so stay tuned for more. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. If you could like and subscribe if you do like this content, I do plan on posting more trips and vacations here in the future. So until next time, here we go.